Good morning, everyone. God bless you. Sarasvati is here today, emanating the pure white light of her eternal essence to each of us. And she brings the water of eternal youthfulness, the water of the mother, the water that cleanses, the water that revivifies and expands our soulful consciousness in order that we may follow her and utilize her gifts of knowledge, of music, and wisdom, and learning. Her mantra is I'm. 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 And that is the seed syllable, and her mantra actually is Om Aim Sarasvati Namaha. 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 Her name means essence of oneself, one who leads to the essence of self-knowledge. She is the one with plenty of water. In other words, one who bears the living essence of water for all devotees of her heart in order that they may be nourished by that mother frequency which water represents. He bears the healing and purifying waters and powers of the abundance of those flowing waters. From the Book 10 of the Rig Veda, John Muir, not the John Muir of American lore, the great naturalist who climbed the mountains in the West, but another John Muir, who is an expert in translating Indian ancient texts, says, May the waters, the mothers, cleanse us. May they who purify with butter, purify us with butter. For these goddesses bear away defilement, I come out of them pure and cleansed. And from Sarada Talaka on Sarasvati, may the goddess of speech enable us to attain all possible eloquence. She who wears on her locks a young moon, who shines with exquisite luster, who sits reclined on a white lotus and from the crimson cusp of whose hands pours radiance on the implements of writing and books produced by her favor. So we are working on various publications, and we ask and we accept Sarasvati, blessing with her favor, our endeavors to publish the sacred words, the sacred texts of light, that will edify souls, that will bring them to self-knowledge as she is the essence of one who has reached that level of complete self-knowledge. Dressed in pure white she comes today as Maha Sarasvati and with Maha Kali and Maha Lakshmi they emanate the three partite flames as the shaktis of Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva. So we accept Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva in our midst with the Maha, Sarasvati, Maha, Lakshmi, and Maha Kali to cleanse the earth in sacred fire, to cleanse our souls 
to the sacred light of the Mother, to cleanse our spirits so that we may rise higher, that we may aspire to oneness. Sarasvati is the river deity, the best of mothers of rivers of goddesses. And because she has the plenitude of water issuing forth from her being, we ask her now to cleanse the waters of the earth and to cleanse the waters within us, to cleanse our blood and the waters that flow through our bloodstream so that we may be undefiled, so that we may be pure, mindful, chaste and holy in God's knowledge, God's wisdom, God's power and God's love. I'm, 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 Om I'm Sarasvati Namaha 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 Now it's interesting that the first four letters of her name, S-A-R-A, Sara or Sarah, is also a very important personage in our Holy Bible in the West. And we have one in our community that I'm aware of with the name Sarah or Sarah, who is a devotee of Lakshmi as well as Sarasvati, Durga, Kali, and the Divine Mothers. As we focus on Sara, which also is close to Zara, another devotee within our wider community of light, we see the connection with Abraham, our beloved El Moria. So east and west, west and east, we enter in to the light of the divine, to the white light that Sarasvati, that Sara carries. Each one nurturing the soul of her children, east and west. Each one emulating God as Father and as the Shakti of God the Father, Rama. And God manifests through Abraham, the father of many nations, whose seed is as the sands of the shores of the oceans and the stars of the heavens. We enter into that oneness state, worshiping God, giving our all to the one, As Kali, Mahakali, and Mahalakshmi come with Maha Sarasvati, they bring forth gifts of the Spirit that will assist our community in Canada today and throughout the world. And Canada, through this broadcast, receives the first vibrations and emanations of the pure light of Maha Sarasvati. There is so much water within Canada. Look at a map of Canada and see how it, as a great nation, the first or the second largest in acreage on the planet, maybe second after Russia, there is so much water to the earth. The Hudson Bay, St. Lawrence Seaway, the Great Lakes that she shares with the United States and many other rivers and great, great waterways and lakes. And plus the ice of the north 
and the snows of the north, which also represent mother. See how Canada can be for the entire world a point of light for the mother to nurture her children, all children of her heart. I I'm Sarasvati Namaha. Now, because we are focusing on Canada, Canada and Namaha are very close. Three A's. You could say, Om I'm Sarasvati Namaha, Canada. 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 And the A, ah, the three A's of Canada as well as Namaha. And the three A's within Sarasvati represent the A, ah, which is the tone of the heart in balance within the threefold flame of the three A's. Sarasvati Namaha Canada Om I'm Sarasvati Namaha Canada Om I'm Sarasvati Namaha Canada Om I'm Sarasvati Namaha Canada and in the Mahakali, you have three A's. The Mahalakshmi, you have three A's. Of course, in the Mahasarasvati, you have five. So we have an additional two A's in Mahasarasvati. An added impetus of the heart. So the action that Maha Sarasvati is performing today is to encourage all to balance the water within themselves and to honor the water element in all life, in our natural resources, and all of our waterways, oceans, seas, lakes, ponds, rivers, rivulets, dreams, and to allow all to be refreshed to the essence of Sarasvati. Now in one image she is playing an instrument like a sitar with four arms, playing the instrument with two and then one holding some beads, some devotional beads, and one arm or hand holding another object, golden in color. So the fact that she has four arms in this image represents her mastery of the four elements. Two being used to play divine music. One performing mudras as it holds the beads and counts through those beads the devotional mantras that are sung with the music and one symbolizing the wisdom and the knowledge and the learning of the higher arts. She is beautiful, she is divine, she is wrapped in white light with golden, silken threads also in her garment 
emanating the golden light of wisdom, knowledge, and learning. And she comes to edify us, to bless us, to charge us with this white light so that we may meet the initiations of today and every day. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Canada. 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 If you have a map of Canada or a globe of the world, and you place your hands over Canada, at, while you give this mantra, this new mantra, you can have a great, great release of light from Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, and their consorts, their Shaktis. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Canada. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Canada. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Canada. And if you would desire to expand it beyond Canada, we can say America, which only has two A's, yet is also representative of all of the Americas. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha America. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha America. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha America. And for those outside of the Americas, you can bless your nation and your continent with the light of Saraswati. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Asia. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Africa. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Europa. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Australia. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha. Om I'm It's amazing how one mantra sung with great devotion, great cosmic intent can bring the light of presence and of the mother and of purity and of oneness, of unity to reestablish the kingdom of God upon earth in our domain where we live, move, and have our being. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Canada. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha America. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Europa. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Africa. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Asia. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Australia. Om, you can add. Om, I'm Saraswati Namaha Antarctica. Om, I'm Saraswati Namaha Arctica. Or the Arctic in the north. Just add the A. Uh, Arctica, Arctica. Even though it's the Arctic, you can add the A. Arctica. And so we are dealing with now all of the continents and our peoples. And this mantra goes especially into the waters and purifies, cleanses, transmutes all darkness. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Canada. Om I'm Saraswati Namaha Canada. Now today, Saraswati comes also on behalf of women. We have seen the exposures in the United States of late of all of the attacks on women 
in the film industry, and this will expand to include all perverse attacks against women and young girls and children through pedophilia, and the exposure will continue for weeks and weeks, months, and even years, as many are called to cosmic justice who abase the light until all is exposed. All are called to task who have misused that light, and none can avoid this judgment of the light of those who have misused the light of the mother. None can avoid it. Sarasvati is here to proclaim it with many divine mothers. And to be on the right side of this, we must emulate the mother within ourselves, raise the kundalini, trim the lamps of our chakras by keeping them fed with our devotion, our praise of God, our love of God, our love of one another, and of all life. Om Aim Saraswati Namaha Om Aim Saraswati Namaha Om Aim Saraswati Namaha Tera Om Aim Saraswati Namaha Tera Om Aim Saraswati Namaha Tera Now it's also interesting that the word Tera for earth is close to Tara another Divine Mother with two A's. Om Aim Saraswati Namaha Tera Om Aim Saraswati Namaha Tera Om Aim Saraswati Namaha Tera Om I am seeing the souls of many children who have been abused, mistreated, sexually enslaved, being freed now by the light of Sarasvati around the planet. Their souls have been caught in a web of deceit, deception, intrigue, and darkness. And as we have celebrated Diwali recently for the Indian people, which I believe is their new year, Diwali, our very sacred day, where women are honored and they put henna on their hands and very illustrious and beautiful representations, artistic renderings. We honor the Divine Mother within everyone, including men, the souls of all, so that we can learn our lessons and ascend. We can resolve all of our psychological issues and communicate male to female, female to male, male to male and female to female with love, honor, respect. Let our communication Saraswati says, be manifest with grace, loving intention, integrity, and honor. Let us be true to our words, integrated in body, mind, and soul, and heart. Value the godness and the essence of everyone as we do ourselves. Treat others as we desire to be treated. Look upon others as we desire to be looked upon. Speak to others as we desire to be spoken to. Listen to others as we desire to be listened to. Consider others as we desire to be considered. So the golden rule of how we treat others, do unto others as you desire others to do unto you, can be expanded 
to the action of doing or the action of works to how we consider, how we treat, how we look upon, how we speak to, how we reference others. Whenever possible, avoid gossip where you speak of others when they're not in your presence. It, we're better to not speak of anyone if we're not in their presence. It matters not who they are, political figures or others, because we will give accounting for every word that we speak. So would we desire others to speak ill of us at all, or especially not in our presence? Of course not. Let us avoid speaking ill of anyone, no matter who that person is, because we will be held accountable for our own words spoken about others in the day of our own self-judgment. Om Aim Sarasvati Namaha 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 This is the message of Sarasvati for today. And she encourages us to use this mantra throughout the day or any time we require her help. We consider her or any of the Divine Mothers. You can look up in our 8.000 prayer in our prayer page, prayer and songbook, the other mantras to the other female deities, and use them liberally to bring the Mother Light into balance within the earth and within ourselves and our community. God bless you. God keep you. God love you. Bye-bye.